Check this out, man. This some bullshit right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up, YouTube? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all know it's your boy here, man. Boss life. You're a chucker. Y'all know the deal. I'm here to another video, guys. You know what I mean? I just want to chit chat with you guys today. Y'all see the title, man. Sorry for the sun. You know what I mean? But yeah, y'all see the title, man. Um. Don't make the mistakes that I made when I was starting my Atari. You know what I mean? This guy is super close. This yeah. yes, man. I had a tight spot to, to make a U-turn. But made it through. Oh, uh, I almost popped my wires. Look at the spot that I that I uh, had to to make that turn, man. But made it, made it, man. I'm just chilling here on a Friday, man. Just chilling. And I mean, I'm delivering this load right here. Then I'm gonna pick up uh, next load in um, East Hartford, and I'm gonna take to um, Brooklyn for Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I got this trailer here, man. It's it's a loadout trailer. I found a broker, right? Let me give you this story. I found a broker where um it's in Maryland. The the, the facility is in Maryland. But the broker like when I deliver deliver loads for them, it's normally from Perryville in Maryland. And um, I deliver like in Farmingdale, New York, or Midford, New York. That's where they have the location, like the customers, I should say. So after I deliver the load, I could use this trailer for a couple of days, and they don't bother me. So what I do is I, I take this trailer, like for this load here, take this trailer, deliver the load, um, use the trailer for like two or three days, and what I do is I head back with a load from like New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts area, head back with a load to uh, Maryland. So when I go to Maryland, I deliver that load, drop this trailer off, then um, pick up the next one there because they always got load. Every morning they send us emails with, um, with load. You know what I mean? So you could choose whatever load you want. So what I do is I just take back this trailer pick a next um, load, power only, deliver that load, and then use uh, the trailer for load up. I gotta do this, So man. I made it, I made it, I made it to that 11 o'clock appointment. I made it to the 11 o'clock appointment, one o'clock. <laughs> it wasn't my fault though. It was that, that um, receiver in the morning. It took forever to unload me. But there we go, guys. That baby's been loaded. There she is. Jet life, you know what I mean? So, let me get into the content. But before I get into the content, guys, when I pulled up here, I saw this, this big land space right here. I was like, I need a land space like this. Because when I build my fleet, I'm going to need somewhere to park my truck. I'm going to need somewhere to, to have a maintenance office. You know what I mean? A little, little this, a little that. So, I was thinking about this land. This is in Connecticut, by the way. This is where I live. So I guess I need to put my jacket and my tie on and, and you know what I mean? Look more professional and walk up to the, the, the town and be like, I want to lease this land right here. And when I got that money, I could do a big construction and build my company in mean, big fleet with 3,000 trucks, 4,000 trucks, you know what I mean? Come on, man, I got to speak it in existence. So, let me get to the content. As I said, the biggest mistake I made um, when starting up my authority. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> the biggest mistake I made starting up my authority was not saving up enough money not saving up enough money and i'm gonna get into it 
the reason being is because when I left rail I left rail in November um, 30, 21st of November that's the, that's the time when I left rail and uh, I bought that truck in in no, this November nah my bad <clears throat> I bought that truck in December the 4th of December I bought that truck cool and I paid 10 stacks down on it um, little here and there stuff what I have to do the process to get it to get my um, IRP and all of that I paid an agent to do my paperwork so, so with all the COVID excuse that was going around you know COVID this it took me like two extra months from what I, ex I expected for me to get all my stuff together. What was really holding me up was the IRP approval from um, the state and that put me in a hole where um, there wasn't enough revenue coming in at the time and I mean to, to do what I have to do all that money that I spend up taking care of um, getting the truck up and running and all that stuff you know and I mean and it kind of put me in a hole where I I'm doing catching up right now that's basically what I'm doing I'm catching up you now everything is good I could go wherever I want to go but I'm not making a profit right now my brother told me and I didn't believe him until I experienced it he was like, if you're just starting out as an owner-operator for the first six months, you ain't going to make no money. You, you, for the first six months, what you got to do basically is clearing up bills, getting stuff in place, make sure that the truck is really good for the road because if without the truck, there'd be no work and there'd be no money. You know what I mean? So you got to put, you know, do some of the minor stuff with the truck. So there's no profit coming in. And... That's what I'm experiencing right now. If I make, say for example, a thousand dollars right now, that thousand dollars gotta pay for something. You know what I mean? That was backed up. So it's gonna take it's gonna take me a while for me to build up and could see profit. You know what I mean? Chuck is running good, you know and I mean bills are paying, things are getting better, so it, it's getting there. It is getting there. So that was my biggest mistake. I didn't save up enough money. I always hear um, from OGs and chucking saying, to become an owner operator, you gotta have at least $25,000. And that, that, that's kind of accurate. Because to get your truck, to get a decent truck, you gotta pay like 50. Anyways, to get a decent truck, you got to pay like $15,000 down, $10,000 at least. And to start your, your, your insurance on your authority, that's the next six, seven grand, depending on how young your license is, how many tickets you got. So it's like six, five, seven bands you got to put down on, um, on that, that MC for the insurance. So that's actually twenty thousand dollars there. You know and I mean to get a trailer you gotta pay like five thousand dollars down to get a to get a trailer to pay to pay monthly for that trailer. It's twenty five thousand dollars right there. Just to get the equipment and get the authority active. Now you gotta find fuel, if there's work gotta be done, if there's tire change, all that stuff. So I would say from my experience starting up my trucking company, my 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 experience, I would say if you could save up a thirty-five thousand dollars to do what you gotta do, that could start you off with a trucking company. But I know guys that go different route with this stuff where they actually buy a used truck. Ten thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. 
um, you could go, you could do it that way, but I, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to take the risk that way. I wanted to go through like a dealership, what I did, and pay for warranty, and so I have a warranty on my 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 truck, my semi, and I got uh, what is it? What is it again? Physical damage. So God forbid if I roll this truck over and it damages total. They will pay me back for the truck. If there's a problem with the transmission, or the motor, or the radiator, the, the, the big stuff, they fix it. I wanted that, that security just starting off as a new um, owner operator. I wanted to start it off with some comfort that if something have happened to my, to my truck, I could get it fixed without spending excessive amount of money out of my pocket, you know what I mean? So I rather pay for that that warranty, that peace of mind, three, four hundred dollars more a month. I rather pay for that peace of mind just to get my company started. You know what I mean? It could save some money. If I'm gonna purchase a next truck, then I would I wouldn't put that warranty on it. I would just purchase purchase it as it is. And in that case, if I could get three months out of that new truck then without breaking down, then I could use the revenue off that to put in my maintenance escrow and I mean because I've, I've already started with this first truck here um, paid off all the back bills and you know I mean catching up this is actually catching up this is what we say in Jamaica we catch up we catching up so I'm basically catching up with the bills right now and that was a mistake I, I, I left the rail but to be honest with you I had to leave to, to, to rally around to do my, my my business. I gotta make calls, do this, run here with the truck. So I had to leave, but what the, the biggest problem is I didn't save up enough money. So for new owner operators, for persons that wanting to start your own trucking company, I recommend that you have at least $35,000 save up just in because if you leave your nine to five or you you you're like all right i got ten thousand dollars now i want to start a trucking company you can't start a trucking company with ten thousand dollars so i i really recommended um thirty five thousand dollars to be on the safe side you know what i mean um yeah so i'm just making this video to help all the new guys new drivers that's coming in wanting to start their own trucking company you know what I mean? Um, save up, save up enough money, and and try to get everything as fast as you can. Try to get your truck. Um, I made a video earlier, y'all guys. If you didn't see, you should go back and look at it. Um, what's the process of starting your trucking company? A lot of stuff take time. So, you being out of a job with minimum amount of money to start your trucking company that's a disaster right there that's a disaster right here if you don't got nobody to like help you out financially that's a disaster right there and you're gonna fail so i recommend that you guys save up enough money to do what y'all gotta do to be a successful entrepreneur business person trucker trucking company owner out here whatever you want to call it so that's just my take on it that's just my experience um i didn't save up enough money at the time and my expect my expectation was like all right buy a truck i already got my mc let's pay for this own insurance let's go on the road but nah i didn't even know about the irp until <laughs> until i was putting my paperwork so like um because of the covid it normally takes seven days, but now it's taking three weeks. I was like, what? Yeah, so. Hope someone learned something from this video right here, guys. But in the meantime, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Boss Life, your chucker. I'm out.